guys, welcome back to Extra Life. Once again, I'm here in this room. No idea why. Anyway, so uh, last time we showed you the arena, we fought a little bit, we did a bunch of cool things, and uh, today we're supposed to have a new challenge. Well then, my entire floor Cool. Cool. One second. What up, Sean? Whose idea was this? Of freaking course. How much soul sand did he have? Good question. I didn't give him any. Damn it. Well, looks like uh, the right amount because is literally my entire floor. My entire floor is soul sand. I was busy when he was doing it, so. When did he ha when did he do this? Uh not that long ago. He was literally just on. So here's another question. Where are my blocks at? Probably in your mailbox. They're, they're indeed in my mailbox. Want to see what I was busy with, Sean? Sure. Why not? I have to rebuild my entire to my nether warp pile. Okay, I know where that is. Wait, do I know where that is? Yes. No, I don't know where that is. It's next to the dark oak tree farm. Okay, I am here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brewing stand. Lawson, well, I know what this is. Are you serious? It's one of those fucking locked doors? Yeah, because that's my maintenance hatch. This is an auto potion lab. Oh. Yep, the auto potion lab. Now, everything but the hoppers was survival. Mostly because I ran out of iron making the hoppers. And I was like, I'm already halfway through this fucking build. Want to know how it works? I know how. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a good, good point. Well, this is not the same one as the other one. Oh, it's not. No, this is a totally different one. 
So the way it works is first you choose your modifiers, which are over here. Okay. So you have redstone and glowstone together. So you choose which one of those you want. Okay. You you have to choose one of the other. Alright. So either you're gonna level it up or extend the time. Over here, you have the choice of having gunpowder or not, so making it a splash potion or not. And then the fermented spider eye. So this one, it doesn't tell you if you're out or not, mostly because these aren't as important as those. So if it runs out of these, you'll just know when you don't get the right potion. And go and refill them. Been keeping it on redstone mostly because redstone's easier to come by. Glowstone is, was a pain in the ass to collect. Then from there, after you choose your modifiers, so bam, you then choose which ingredient you want, which will of course make your potion at that point. So I'm gonna make a extended time potion of invisibility. So I click here. And then if you look in here, you'll see that the brewing stand has started brewing. Okay. So this is not the industrial one that just continuously makes potions. It only makes them as you select them. Gotcha. Don't ask me what happens if you press the button before it's done brewing. I haven't decided to test that because this, was, this wasn't even made in my testing world yet. This was literally me fucking around with it here. I've actually been on since about noon, and I think I got it done like 20 minutes ago. I see. So you see that the fermented spider eye has gone in. You've already got the extended potion of night vision. And as soon as it's done. Oh, nice. And it puts them in here. Oh, nice. So, Tim. Look what back I, in the chest. Thank you. You know that this is in the house, right? Yeah, but I'm, I figure I just pay for one for right now. Because right. I have a, uh, I have a troll in mind that uh, I really hope it works. It, you know what's funny though, it actually does involve soul sand. And today I was gonna go to the nether and collect a shit ton of, nether, of uh, soul sand, but thanks to Sticky, I don't have to do that. But uh, yeah, so because this is in the house and it is available for use for everyone, it is also up to everyone to provide the ingredients. I did go ahead and provide a stack of each ingredient, but after that, that's it. Also went ahead and just filled up the water, blaze powder, and nether wort, so we don't have to worry about those for a while. Um, but the other ingredients, they are set to just the stack was in there. I think I did add more sugar. I had some excess sugar. Is it really is it really bad that I don't know how this was? What, your house? Yeah, my fuck. My uh my front door. I know. I actually don't know how it was. Hold on. No.
Alright, Sticky. Oh, shit. No! Damn it! Anyway, like I was saying, so Sticky, you wanna play with Soul Sand, huh? You wanna play with some Soul Sand? Alright, buddy, I can play with some Soul Sand. That'll make this troll null and void, but I'm down to play with some Soul Sand. You know what, and let's make it, and let's, let's one up it. Let's also put some, uh, some nether brick in there. Let's see. Ooh, let's put some uh, nether rack, some yeah, nether, some yeah, nether brick. Yeah, Ooh, with some yeah. nether fences. <laughs> yep. All right, Sticky. You wanna play with some soul sand? I'll play with some soul sand. Actually, I'll bring the entire fucking nether with me. I'm a little salty, guys. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't like people messing with my floors. Oh, and you left your door open. Sounds like there's a challenge on the arrival. Let me just uh, finish up what I'm doing here and I'll go check out that. Alright, guys.
<laughs> All right, interesting. So just so you know, Sean, there is apparently a maximum amount of banners allowed in the game. Yes. Also, for your information, we have hit it. Oh, yeah, I know. All right, Tim. That's hilarious. There you go. Oh, wait, I never gave Sticky his point. This is how salty I can be. You want to go look at it? Please. I would love you to go look at this. Now, now go look on top of his roof. They had already been up there. Yeah, that's how salty I can be. Don't mess with a man's floor. Yeah.